It is the first star of the evening and the last to fade at dawn. For millennia, we saw it as a beacon of beauty, a goddess of love, our sister world, but that beauty is a lie. Beneath the clouds, Venus is a furnace. The air is poison. The pressure would crush a submarine and the heat is hot enough to melt lead. This is not our sister. This is our twin that took a terrifyingly different path. And this is the great mystery. Was it always this way? We have evidence that Venus may have once had oceans, perhaps for billions of years. So the question that haunts us is simple and direct. Are we looking at a failed Earth or a lost paradise? And why did it die? We are sending new missions to taste the toxic air and map the ancient terrain. We may never walk on Venus, but could we live there? Not on the ground, but in the sky. Could we build havens in the hellscape, floating 50 kilometers high in the one place that feels like home? Our relationship with Venus has changed. No longer a goddess, but a warning and a challenge. So we look at our twin and we have to ask, are we seeing our past or a possible future?